Hello, my name is Ryan Buras, Deputy Director of Recovery here at CalOES. Thank you for joining me during these recovery updates. As you are all aware, the state of California continues to deal with multiple disaster events. Today, I would like to share with you a few updates regarding wildfire recovery efforts here in the state of California. California has been severely impacted by the, wildf by the wildfires this year. In August, those fires affected 18 counties. September affected 10 counties. The Joint Field Office has been open to state and FEMA staff since the week of October 12th, 2020. Local assistance centers opened across the state for individuals impacted by evacuation orders and wildfire damages. non congregate sheltering has been critical in the current wildfire and COVID-19 environment. A quick update on debris. The state has obtained permits for debris removal equipment to begin structural debris removal operations. The debris crews have started in all counties. This includes the field assessment crews and also the actual debris removal crews. Additionally, the state has started and completed many watershed protection projects to protect lives and property when the rain comes. The right of entry. This is so important. Collecting right of entries expeditiously is critical to ensuring debris removal can commence on schedule. Currently, the state continues to work with local jurisdictions to follow up with affected residents on their right of entry submissions. This is a reminder for all of you. Local jurisdictions will collect, review, vet, verify property ownership, and sign off on these forms. Local jurisdictions will, to the extent practicable, collect right of entries from all property owners interested in the state consolidated debris removal program by the state's target dates. The local jurisdictions will transfer right of entries on a rolling basis to the state debris planning team via the state provided system once local jurisdictions has verified that each right of entry is signed by the legal property owners and that the parcel contains an eligible structure, potentially eligible hazard trees, or both. As a reminder, the state will pick up your hazardous eligible debris at no cost to the homeowner. All we collect from the insurance company is the portion of your policy that was intended for debris removal. We do not collect your entire insurance proceeds. Due to the spike in COVID-19 cases and the holidays around the corner, we are extending the right of entry deadline from December 15th to January 15th, 2021. Please work with your county and submit your right of entry so we can begin your recovery process. Also, the FEMA registration deadline is approaching. So please, if you have not registered for FEMA assistance, now is the time to do so. In closing, last week, the state announced a regional stay at home order, which went into effect Saturday, December 5th. The California Department of Public Health will evaluate the adult ICU bed capacity for each region and will identify any regions for which that capacity is less than 15%. The holidays are just around the corner, and while this may be a time to enjoy the company of your friends and family, we must not forget that COVID-19 is still here. At this time, we have seen a spike in COVID-19 cases across the state of California, where 54 out of 58 counties are now in the most restrictive tier. So let this be a reminder that we must all do our part in protecting our communities, wear a mask, practical, practice social distancing, and refrain from large gatherings with individuals you did not live with. Thank you for your time. Please join me next time for more recovery updates.